What's going on, Foodie Fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with the best and worst rated restaurants right here in my state, family. Now, if you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Dame Drops is back again. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, um, we've been beating down, and I do mean a lot of food. Every day. Every day I'm dropping reviews, baby. If you're tuning in Monday through Friday. A new review is dropping at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to tune in and go check out some of the old ones that you may have missed. Right now, if you guessed it right, if you've guessed it correctly in Friday's video, B, that means you already know we're on the Reuben sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I took it to Facebook, wanted to see who was banging in these streets for Reuben sandwiches, and uh, looks like Cat's Deli out in Woodbridge, Connecticut, is banging out the frame. And yeah, the cat's from, you know, New York, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, they got a little something over here, and it looks like they got it cracking. But let's go ahead and read these reviews, baby, and then slide it over to Cat's Deli for that Reuben sandwich. Five star. Been a while since I've been to Cat's pre-elf days, but Maria R. raved about the corned beast. It probably been to say corned beef as being probably the best she's ever had. So I had to stop in on the way back from Yonkers this past Saturday. Maria R. is right. First of all, no sooner had I sat at the counter than coleslaw and pickles appeared. My order was taken promptly. CB on rye, corned beef, on rye, the larger of the two choices, and came lickety split. The CB was about the leanest I've ever gotten from a restaurant and well brined. The rye was also excellent. They get it from a New Haven baker. Also, the mustard, yes, the mustard. Beaver with hints of horseradish was just perfect. They sell 12.5 ounce jars of it for $6 on site, which I thought was a bit pricey, but online wasn't much cheaper. You know the old expression, save a tree, eat a beaver. <laughs> Maybe my friend Pots and Pans can order me some. Anyway, worth the stop. Broke it all the way down to the last compound. How the you got that sound? Yo, that was fire right there. Made me want to go ahead and get the corned beef. Like I say yesterday. Yesterday, you hear what I'm saying to you, fam? The horse ratty, the mustard all up off on there for a little spiciness. So I don't know, I think, I think I could taste it just a little bit. Could you taste it? Or is it just my fat behind? I don't know. Let's go ahead and read this next review, though. I'm already getting hungry, hung. Ooh, five star. Ooh. Not sure where I heard about this place, perhaps on some TV show, or just in passing, etc. But I had always heard stories about the great Cat's Deli. Driving up the Merritt Parkway and extremely hungry with little to no options that I could see until I saw the billboard. Almost ran another car off the road to get to the exit. The menu was very large with so many delicious sounding options. I was scoping out what everyone else had. Ever since my gastric sleeve, I can't eat the amount I used to, and I'm supposed to be going low carb, but today was not a day to exercise good judgment. I opted for the small pastrami on marbled rye. This thing has so much flavor. The bread was perfectly toasted with its own awesome flavor. The provolone cheese was perfectly melted, and the pastrami was tender and flavorful. The service could have been a bit quicker, but this waitress was working damn near the whole place herself, and she was extremely friendly and helpful. This place has an old-time diner feel to it. I would eat here again, and I'm thankful that it's not closer to me, as the number on the scale would explode. Like that? You mean to tell me the advertisement almost had this individual running another person off the road just so he could get off the exit. Then he got to the food, and the food just attacked him back. Smacked them all up in the face piece, chopped them in the throat, Tyler Coates, blazed them up something proper. That's some good food right there. When the food do all that, it, hmm, hmm, you playing with me, you playing with me. Don't, don't, don't do me dirt, baby. Don't do me dirt like this. Next one, three star. Mm -hmm. So I'm confused. Now, first, let me say, I'm a longtime fan, and I love the flavors of the meats. The coleslaw's deliciousness and the pickles are king. But the last three times I've been, and always on Sunday, the meat has been chewy, stringy, and not pleasant to chew. So today it happened again, and I decided to take a closer look at the corned beef. Then I saw it. They are cutting the meat with the grain instead of against it. But why? I thought it was pretty much common knowledge to cut the meat across its grain to make it feel more tender. 
I even Googled it to make sure it wasn't different for brisket like it is for pecana. But every brisket video talks about cutting it against the grain. Can somebody help me to understand what's going on? All right. Well, meat is a little fugazi on a choo-choo because it wasn't cut right. And that could be a possibility. New hires, new training. Someone might not know any better. It is what it is. Uh, so, But that cost them two stars and he brought them down to a three-piece. Nobody likes the choo-choo on the meat. Nobody likes that train meat at all. We're going to read one more, and then we're going to slide to Cat's Deli. Now, this last one is a two-star. I don't usually post reviews, but I needed to say something today. My wife and I went to Cat's at lunchtime on a Sunday. It was packed on the inside, and plenty of people were waiting for takeout orders. My wife and I ordered two pastrami sandwiches. One was a Rachel, and the other was just a regular sandwich. When biting into the sandwich, the meat was almost impossible to bite through. The pastrami was flavorless and cut too thickly. When you bit down and tried to chew the meat, the rest, hmm, thanks to the meat, came out the sandwich. The pastrami must not have had been cooked properly, as it was very rubbery. Both my wife and I threw away 75% of our sandwiches, and two sandwiches for over $40 was a lot to throw out. My wife also ordered arugula, which was absolutely delicious. The staff was extremely professional and friendly, especially since the deli was so crowded. Unfortunately, we will not be back. Meat game, bad and sad. And meat game is going out bad on this one, family. And this is supposed to be, according to my heads on Facebook, the best rated for Reuben sandwiches. So we about to slide over to Cat's Deli. And let's hope they're cutting the meat right. Let's hope the meat's not all trained up with the wild choo-choo smoke. Let's hope that that friendly staff is still just as friendly as they have been with all these previous reviews. We got some things to get into, and then we have some things to break down. Sit back, relax, get comfortable. You knew around right here, stay true around right here. You already know the vibes, because now we have to cue the music. All right, fam, so right now we're at 1658 Litchfield Turnpike, Woodbridge, Connecticut, at Cats. Now, we done read the reviews already. Food sounds marvelous. You hear what I'm saying? You sound scrum diddly umptious. I want to just bust up off over here real quick, man. See what it's hitting. Now, we're going to grab this Reuben sandwich. It better be everything in the wedding ring. You know what I'm talking about. You underdig me? So, uh, let's make it happen. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. I'm about to feed y'all something proper. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, we know we're here for a fan, but I ain't gonna hold you. Let's check out this menu game. They got a lot going on since 1998. Cat's Deli, baby. Open seven days a week, 10 to 8 p.m., lunch, dinner. Is that that bring your own beer? You know what I'm saying? Be wild beer, bring your own little baggie, get your little drink pool on, a little sippy de sip. It's funny because it has like little tabs over on the menu. So you have breakfast, you have sandwiches, salads, and burgers. All day breakfast game. Won't even hold you on that one. Bagels, got the nosh over there. Oh, chicken salad, chopped liver, and eggs and salad, okay. Soup, New York smoked fish. Mm, oh, that sounds crazy. You know what we're here for? That Reuben activity, baby. That joint right there look real proper like. But classic sandwiches if you want them. The cat club sandwiches, of course. You got the chef special sandwiches up over here. Steve Sky Highs, specialty wraps. Man, I think the last page is probably for like salads and stuff. Yeah, salad bowl, burgers, dogs, grilled cheese, hot platter, the sides, beverages, kids' corner, man. And then to visit the bakery, which we're definitely gonna do, fam, because I ain't gonna hold you. Bakery game over there looking proper. That works. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Gotcha. I've been watching your, your content for years. This is, this is awesome. Oh, appreciate it, brother. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. You doing the Ruben too? Yeah. Man, man. That thing looking. That thing looking thick, thick. 
Yeah. Look, I ain't gonna hold you. Look, 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 look a wild thick, you know what I mean? Hi, hi guys, how are you? Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Can I grab you some drinks? Yeah. You want seltzer? Yeah, do you want lemon or lime? Oh, uh, lemon. Absolutely. All right, so I'll get a water and a seltzer. Sure. Do you want uh, lemon on either? I'll do lemon on the seltzer. Okay. Did you need a couple minutes? I get the drinks to come back. It's a lot to work at. You need a couple minutes or? No, no, I'm, I'm getting the Reuben. You're good. Yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, All right, what kind of meat do you care for? Corned Ooh. beef, pastrami would be the most popular. It's your call. Pastrami. Pastrami. Grilled yeah. rye bread works. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, this is what you get as soon as you sit down. Coleslaw and some pickles. Let's get into it. I mean, I'm not big on coleslaw. I ain't going to hold you. However, mm, this joint right here looks like it got wild snap to it. Cold to the touch right here. Feel it. Feel tight and fresh. It does feel tight and fresh. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's up. Okay, okay. That was crazy. That pickle homegrown, son. Huh? Got the little tart cake to it, too. That thing juicy. That thing thick, thick. Got a pickle juice. You know what I'm saying? Wild paws, yo. Wild paws. Yo, mad pickle juice. Why not you go ahead and snap up off in there? And that's that snap right there better than a football game, son. Huh? You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. But we really here for that Reuben. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to let you know, it's official out here, fam. Howls, man. When you see the Howls, New York, seltzer water, lemon joy, you know it's official. I'm over here in Connecticut, but yes, I am sipping on straight New York water. You hear what I'm saying to you? W-H-A-T-A apostrophe. Shut up. She gave me some extra Russian dressing that's really going to go up off on my Reuben, my little pastrami Reuben joint, but she said get the fries. Looking crazy in these streets. I just want to dip it, and I want to hit it. These fries solo dollar, wild crispy. Nice little saw hand on there for extra flavor. Mmm, fresh potato popping on a hand stand. Mm, but you dip them up off over here into the Russian dressing, the creamy, zesty dressing. Adhering to the fry, elevating the fry, making the fry step out in a four piece tuxedo. Tasty, baby. Damn, baby. Why you acting like that? You can't tell me that I don't look good when it do. Come here, come come here, get over here. Get over here, why are you, why are you being disrespectful? On that rye bread. There it is, there it is, baby, let's see. Let's get the business. I think I would sleep. How you get instant itis? Taking a bite. I fell out. I passed out. I found heaven in pastrami. So much thick. Thinly cut, but so thick. Pieces of pastrami that literally melt in your mouth. Sour crouches. Crunching along, right? Crunching along, adding a nice little flavor. Not necessarily needed. That dressing, the zesty dressing, adding that zang, that zest, that tang. It's, it's just a combination for your face. And then, of course, the grilled rye. More crispy activity, more flavor. On top of the flavor that's already just beating up your taste buds something proper. There is nothing wrong here, family. The only thing that's wrong is you're not here to enjoy it with me. We need dessert. From a distance, it looks like it's a respectable size. Until you start to get close in on it, family. Look at the size of that cheesecake, son. Come on, like, I gotta give a, a hand a cheesecake comparison? You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I put it at the base, it's almost trying to see the pinky piece, you know what I mean? Like, this joint right here go crazy. Of course, you got some strawberries up over there if you want them. This is just the, that original slaughterhouse cheesecake for real. 
I'm going hard on the boulevard. You good, brother? All right. Oh, that's decadence right there, son. That's, that's too soft. That's too, how rich is it? How rich is it? Damn. You know what I'm Yo. This joint right here, creamy. Got a nice, smooth richness to it. Execution on that cream cheese. Something proper. This right here, man, this is New York's finest hour right here in Connecticut. Probably one of the best cheesecakes that I've had in a long time. I'm not even gonna hold you. And the addition of the strawberry with the strawberry puree activity probably really would set it off. I just don't get down with strawberries like that, though they do look good. Family, this is a win all the way through. Our Reuben sandwich, our cheesecake, them fries hitting up on that Russian dressing. Like, we didn't lose with this one. We did not miss. Let's take it to Yelp. I holla. All right, fam, I'm not even going to hold you. I didn't have time to edit everything. That's why we're in the new freshie. But uh, this is another day. But we're still going to talk about Cat's Deli, all right? Now, no, it's not Cats of New York. It's Cats of Connecticut. I think they just have the namesake going on on this one. So I don't have the same expectations. If y'all repping New York and you're coming to Connecticut and you see Cats and you're like, yo, it's going to be just like that. Nah, there's two different flexes going on. However, I had to break this thing all the way down, family. I didn't, once again, when the food is good, good, y'all know I get stupid, McNoopy over here on Yelp. Y'all know how I get down, so sit back, relax, and comfortable, because I'm about to get in it. I'm going to get in it. In it. And don't worry, if you see any typos, by the time you get to Yelp, I've already fixed the typos. I always say that, but I got to remind you guys. Now, Cats, not to be confused with the oldest deli in New York, Cats, packs a powerful bite all the same to fit the name and show a great line of respect for New York, but in its own way, right here in Connecticut. This is one of those locations that is best to arrive early for it gets packed and fast. After being seated, the waitress brought out pickles and coleslaw as a jumpstart your palate for what it's about to experience type of vibe. And she was very vibrant with an amazing personality. I went ahead and ordered a pastrami Reuben and a Howe's New York lemon seltzer water. It was not a long wait for my pastrami and let me tell you right now fam, they did not skip out on the pastrami. Thin cuts that flooded my sandwich and stacked to the point of barely being able to properly hold the sandwich, even with my big hands. Now add in the melted Swiss sauerkraut and Russian dressing, all between two pieces of grilled rye bread, and you're working with a mini masterpiece. Now, if you are not about the sauerkraut, you can always get the Rachel version that will replace the sauerkraut with coleslaw instead. I slowly lifted my sandwich up to the heavens and my eyes widened as I forced them closed, all to sink my teeth into this beast of happiness. My reality hit in an upbeat type of way when the savory notes on that pastrami hit. A nice saltiness and smoky flavor all combined within. The sauerkraut wanted me to put some respect on its name with its acidic and salty flair. Amidst its sour punch to my throat tolicles. Don't look for that word in Google. <laughs> you won't find it. It's in the book of Dame only. <laughs> Yo, how can you possibly go wrong with layers of succulent pastrami and that creamy Russian dressing doing the tango on your taste buds? Even when I hit that pickle earlier, its own tangy and juicy pop took me to a place in foodie paradise that I didn't even know existed until this day, and I want more. Back to the rye bread, which boasted the perfect texture combination. Crispy grilled rye provided a satisfying crunch with every bite while that pastrami practically melted in my mouth. The sauerkraut really added a pleasant crunch and burst of tanginess, complementing the softness of the cheese and, as I mentioned, the creaminess of the dressing. It was a textural masterpiece that left me craving more with every single bite. I have a feeling that you are ready for your own pastrami Reuben now from Cats. If not, I didn't do my job well on this review. Oh, and I went with their cheesecake, original. Creamy and very rich with a nice sweet bite on that graham cracker crust. I did not need dessert, but after my meal, dessert was just the necessary evil. <laughs> Fair man. Sometimes, sometimes I'm at a loss for words, sometimes. But when I get a chance to sit down and like really break things down and it just starts, it starts flowing. I know a lot of you guys probably wonder about my 
at the end reviews, the things that I actually type up. And I'll give you a little fun fact about me. For those that don't know, some of you guys already know. Um, in my 20s, in my late teens, early 20s actually, uh, your boy was trying to be an aspiring writer with short stories and everything, man. And I did a lot of spoken word. My, my YouTube channel before food was actually spoken word. You know, I always had fun with that stuff. I, I always have fun with wordplay in general. I always have fun with being able to take myself visually to a place while I'm typing. Like I can see it while I'm typing it out. And it makes it easier to just keep flowing with it because it's recreating a story plus recreating the from the memories of that moment when I went to the restaurant, but then being able to take that and turn it into something wild and crazy. Man, I, I just like having fun with it. So, you know, some reviews are just gonna be like, eh, straight to the point, but other reviews, when I really want you to feel it, it's gonna be like, this is gonna be me like really going in, having a good time. And I hope you guys don't mind, man. Just get to see the other side of your boy Dame. You know, not, not the, the hood side, you know what I'm saying, from the fast food reviews or the overly animated side, but just a side of a man that enjoys writing from time to time. But uh, I greatly appreciate you guys, man, the ones that have been rocking with me for years with the fast food, with the TV shows, with the commercial deals. And I got some things coming up that I'll be able to share with you guys later. Um, and if you're new around here, definitely stay true around here because I'm beating you in the head every single day with a new food review from the best and worst rated restaurants in my state at 4 p.m. So always come back to check. Even if you don't get a notification from Yelp, come back and check anyway. And uh, until next video, y'all, you know the vibes.